QDS integrates with Jupyter Lab, which is a next-generation web-based user interface for Jupyter Notebooks. On the QDS homepage, click the drop-down menu and under Notebooks, select Jupyter. If you find Jupyter Notebooks interface is not enabled, then contact your administrator who can raise a ticket on your behalf to the Kubel support team to enable Jupyter Notebook for your account. As you navigate to the Notebooks interface, you see there is a launcher panel listing the supported kernels. QDS supports PySpark, Spark, Spark R, and Python kernels. PySpark, Spark, and Spark R are generally used for machine learning workloads, whereas Python is used for deep learning workloads. Note that only Spark clusters with Spark version 2.2 and above are supported in QDS Jupyter Notebooks. The default environment is attached to the Spark cluster for Jupyter Notebooks. You might have to install some additional packages to execute Spark jobs. Please refer to the Kubel technical documentation to know how to add packages to Jupyter Notebooks. On the left panel, your working directory is open by default with a list of folders and notebooks you have created. Use the File Browser panel to browse through the directories and folders. You can view the notebooks created by other users by navigating through the folders in the user's directory. The common directory contains shared folders. You can organize your notebooks by creating folders in your working directory in the common directory. Furthermore, you can upload Jupyter Notebooks from the local storage to the QDS platform. The maximum size allowed for upload is 25 megabytes. Each notebook is associated with a kernel that executes the code and returns the output. The running terminals and kernels function shows you the list of kernel sessions for the notebook. Shutting down the kernel will stop the notebook execution. Using the scheduler function, you can view the scheduled notebooks and their run history. GitHub Versions is a version control system for your notebooks in the QDS platform. It is a repository to save the revisions of your notebooks. If GitHub is configured for your account, you can perform actions like pushing the revisions of the notebook to the GitHub repository, viewing and comparing the previous versions of the notebooks, etc. If GitHub is not configured, the notebooks are saved in the default directory. The Commands Palette function provides you quick access to all commands in the Jupyter Notebook. This functionality allows you to search commands by name and run them. Each notebook opens in a separate tab. The Open Tabs function shows you a list of the open notebooks. If you have multiple notebooks open, you can quickly navigate to a specific notebook by clicking the notebook from here. Note that closing the tab will not stop the notebook execution. The Table of Contents function shows you the index of paragraphs within the notebook. You can easily go to a specific paragraph just by clicking the index. The Object Storage Explorer function allows you to access datasets in the cloud storage. The Table Explorer function provides you quick access to metastores. Lastly, the Example Notebooks contain the list of sample notebooks for the new users to get started.